Hey, what's going on everybody? This is a uh, pellet comparison test between nine different pellets that I fired from 25 yards into a 5 8 inch laminated MDF cabinet shelf that I had laying around. You can see that there's a uh, black dot in the center of most of these boxes so that I could judge accuracy with grouping as well as penetration through the board. So, First in line is the uh, Gamma Red Fires. You can see the dot is no longer on this board because of the fact that they all landed directly on top of it. Um, these grouped really 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 well surprisingly from this distance. Again 25 yards, Big Cat 1200. Nice, nice, nice grouping. No uh, direct clean shots all the way through the board, though. The Gamo Blue Flames did not embed into the MDF completely the way that the Red Fires did. You can see there's just a polymer tip of one of the Red Fires sticking out and the rest completely embedded. The Blue Flames did not, and... Accuracy wasn't what I would like to see for something so expensive. Sounds cool though. Sounds like a uh, Rimfire 22 when it goes off because these pellets crack the sound barrier, but sounding cool and getting the job done are two different things sometimes. In this box we have the Gamma Rockets. Um, the top hole off to the right, I think I pulled it on that one, but the rest of them are inaccurate grouping. Um, or an accurate representation of what this uh, ammo does in a group. Again, nothing completely passed through the board. Gamo Armors. Seriously, again, disappointed with the Gamo Armors. I know I talk a lot of shit about these, but for what they cost, for a vial of 50, it's like $9. And they did not embed completely into the MDF board itself, they did not uh, penetrate all the way through the way you would expect something marketed as an armor piercing round to do. I'm just overall seriously disappointed with everything except the accuracy in this test. And even that could have been improved. Gamo Master Points. Underdog. Cheap pellet. Comes in a tin of 250 for $5.99. Uh, super cheap, super cheap pellet. Um, no direct pass-throughs, but most of the rounds stacked directly on top of each other, with the exception of the uh, one in the in the center on the bottom. It's probably my mistake, considering how uh, accurate the rest of them are. Moving down, Crossman Destroyer, nice and accurate. No direct pass-throughs but still pretty accurate for a five shot grouping. Skanko Golden Match. 60% of the pellets passed all the way through. Three out of five passed directly through this board. This was the only pellet to do so. The only pellet in the entire test to pass completely through 5 8 inch thick laminated MDF cabinet. Really, 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 really impressed with these golden matches ever since I opened the tub. JSB Monsters, um, for whatever reason, they grouped really well, but they were off to the right hand side of center. I did not adjust my zero position for any of these groupings whatsoever, so I could give a clear depiction of what each one would do out of a, a normally sighted rifle for 25 yards and these ones go to the right slightly but they all went to the right so if you had your scope dialed for these these are definitely definitely killer hunting pellets I like the JSB mon uh, monsters for hunting the hyper maxes another disappointment with these pellets for as fast as they travel I should see these embedded all the way into this MDF with evidence of it punching through and I didn't see any of that on top of that Two of them also grouped to the left, while three of them grouped mostly in the center. So I don't know if that was my inconsistency or pellet inconsistency or maybe a bad trigger pull. I don't know what the case may have been, but I just I didn't get a good feel for the hypermaxes whatsoever. Again, eleven dollars for a hundred of them. 
comes in a fancy box and that might be most of the cost because honestly these pellets aren't worth their weight to me. On the back you can see the energy comparison. This is why I like to use the uh, MDF board as opposed to the pine board that a lot of people use for pellet testing because if you go down you can see the energy transfer by how much is cracked or missing starting with the master point Gamo Armors Gamo Rocket the Gamo Blue Flame Gamo Red Fire really big piece missing with the Gamo Red Fire which is cool because it was also one of the most accurate groupings of pellets the Hypermax garbage couple little cracks JSB monsters nice even though they were grouped really tightly I've got a I don't know what you would call a shockwave signature or whatever the case may be here really 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 broad energy dispersion it's like cracks to here cracks to here so even though it didn't blow the back of the uh, board off, that's that's a wide area for energy to be dispersed in. Skenko Golden Match, big chunk missing, big hole through it. Great pellets. Great, great, great pellets. I can't wait to get some of the uh, Golden Rod pointed pellets instead of the, uh, the uh, Match Wad Cutter style and see what they can go through. But for a PBA plastic sheath two-piece pellet, Especially in a wad cutter, this is serious penetration. Crossman Destroyer, another really, really, really heavy impact zone, and a piece of it's missing. I'd say this is a harder impact, maybe, than the uh, the JSB Monsters. I'd have to compare those two more closely to get an accurate sense of what each one really is, but I would say that these are as potent, if not more, than the JSB Monsters for hunting. And again, just an overview, this is uh, the back side of the board that I shot 9 pellets at, 5 8 inch uh, laminated MDF. Hope you guys enjoyed.